Hello YouTube, Samuel Gray here. Today we're going to talk about You ruined my movie! We're going to talk about subjectivity and source material versus what we see on screen. Hi there, thanks for tuning in. So, we've all heard it before. You ruined my childhood! You ruined Spider-Man! You ruined Superman! This is all garbage. Here's why. One, the source material still exists. If it's a if, Superman, for an example, Superman's been reimagined dozens of times since the first time he was put to paper. Uh, the original Superman couldn't even fly. He would literally only be able to leap tall buildings. If things don't get reimagined, they don't grow. They don't, they stagnate, they become old, and people lose interest in them. When we translate, and also, another thing to consider is not everything translates from paper to screen. Every medium is a little bit different. Every person interprets it a little bit differently. So your Spider-Man is different from my Spider-Man. How we see them is completely different and it's all subjective. And guess what? It's okay for me to like something that you don't like. It's okay for this director to try something a little bit different. It's okay for you to not like it and it's okay for this person to love it. Now, what would you rather? Would you rather them facsimile the exact same story word for word every time or would you like to see somebody take some risks, try something a little bit different? Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. But the fact of the matter is, is, is it grows. The great thing about doing things differently is it's going to cause some polarized effect. You're going to have people who love it, you're going to have people who hate it. What's awesome about that is, is then we can discuss it. We can discuss why we don't like it, why we do like it. And to me, that's what film's about. It's about the idea of growing ideas, about making things better. Of course, nothing can ever be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect film. So even if I say this movie was awesome-tacular, to borrow Jeremy John's um, vernacular, somebody else is going to come along and say that it's absolute dog shit. But we can talk about it and we can love film subjectively. Another thing is you can't ruin a film. You can't ruin someone's childhood because the initial, the original source material still exists. That original TV show still exists. Recently on a Facebook group, I saw somebody say, oh, they ruined Chips. As soon as I saw that Dax Shepard was in it, I knew the movie was going to be rated R and blah, blah, blah. And they ruined it. No, they did not ruin Chips. Chips still exists. You want to watch that? Go right ahead. Buy it. Download it. Watch it on your VHS. Whatever. You can watch that. It's not ruined. It's still there. It still exists. It's been reimagined. Did that reimagining hold up to your expectations? Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. The point is you can't ruin a property yet. And lots of times I feel like people are critical for the sake of being critical because as an example, oh my DC film wasn't received as well so I'm gonna hate on your Marvel movie. Guess what? We can both love these movies together. Isn't it awesome that we live in an age where a property that would never see the light of day is actually making it to the big screen? Why can't we just be happy that we've seen, we're getting to experience something collectively on the big screen? Somebody's actually trying to take time to put it out there. And at the end of the day, that's all better than reality TV. Thanks for watching. Let me know a movie that you think ruined your childhood and or a movie that you hate people complaining about how it ruined their childhood in the comments below. As always, subscribe. Here's my latest video. Here's another video you might like and we'll see you next time.